Tillman will control things on top. You've got Culver in the game. Of course, he was a lottery pick a couple of years back. Derailed a little bit in his game. Jones! But he's solid. Doesn't make mistakes. It's, he's done a nice job. He's very good in the perimeter. Russ. Old Henry. Yep. On Tillman. Now it's going to be able to be between who's guarding Jackson. He's back in. He goes up there and throws it in with the left hand. Jaron Jackson under 111. And when you get two free tacos with a drink purchase from Jack in the Box the day after the game. You know, one out of two. It was good to plummet a little bit, but to get it right back up, take some work. Yeah, you, hard to get your percentage up. Is on the floor. Dwight, Malik, Wayne Ellington, Westbrook, and Mello. Tillman fires away, and they've got the lead. It's a 13-4 Memphis run. Westbrook answers back with a triple of his own. Yes, sir. The Lakers can do about two things. So one, with, with Jaron Jackson in the game, they're going through him. But when he's not in, they're going a lot of high screens, and they're just coming off and shooting perimeter shots or pitching to the court again with the, with the game basically starting all over again. Inbounds play in very deep to Culver, who got it around Wayne Ellington. They're looking to run. The middle man, that's Contra. Goes right around the defense of Ellington to lay it up and end. Time up for the late show. Driving his Tillman. Down went LeBron. No whistle. They've got it underneath and Jackson scores all the while. Le in double figures right now, and that is Desmond Bain with 10. LeBron sitting on nine points. Brings it into Ellington. Catch, shoot, score. Nothing but net for Wayne. Wayne Ellington gets his second shot. This one for N. Hibbs was a longtime teammate of Russell's uh, OKC. LeBron dominantly goes again, attacks and lays it in with the left hand. This little scoring binge lately, at least 30 points in four of the last five for Brown. Wait, is he going to really with Rivers? Apparently not, as Culver scores. The defense, Lakers, very fortunate. Defense at the end by LeBron. Very much at the end. Now at the other side again, it's LeBron challenging, but this time the streaking is A.B. to score. Nice dive that time by Bradley. Good movement without the basketball. This is one example of he's not calling the shots. He's coming out. Jackson Jr. Adams, offensive rebounder. Always been a good offensive rebounder. And it pays off with a basket to Bain. So now only eight to get into their action. Well, Jaron Jackson doesn't need that long. He's going. Yeah, he just, you know, he's going. So far, Dudu, 11 Laker turnovers and five Memphis offensive rebounds. Yeah, Memphis only has five turnovers. So, so and the Lakers only have three offensive rebounds. So you can see where those kind of little discrepancies start to add up yeah. on the scoreboard. Lakers are perfect. Three for three from downtown here in the quarter. Malik's got one of them. And up to LeBron. Bad pass. Right to Mount all the way. Throw it down with Russ in pursuit. Defense to offense from Memphis. Melton knew what the play was going to be almost. He just shot the gap. They turn it over oh, again. Man. Lakers are just piling them up too quickly. Down the middle. Jackson. He dunks it. This game is Look out. a complete 180 from the beginning. It's the Grizz now that are just dominating both ends. It's an eight-point deficit. Monk one way, then the other. Drive, kick, ball movement, right back to Russ. Three on its way is good. Good ball movement by the Lakers. Yeah, it's a good job of dribble penetration by Monk and created the chase defense on the Grizz. So he'll get the hockey assist on that. Melton stumbles for a moment. Bay, very strong to the ground. Touch pass for Jackson. Straight as a string. And down it goes for a triple. You've got to treat Jaron Jackson as a guy. Once he touches it, he's not giving it up. So you've got to be around him at all times. 36 and a half percent for behind the line for him this year. That's good feed by THQ. AD's in deep and scores. Two minutes and 15 to go here in the first half. <laughs> This second quarter has been all Memphis. Coming up on the two-minute warning here in half.
number one. That's good roll by uh, Adams, but a block by Westbrook. They're going to get points out of that. Yeah, they are. Well, well they flanked it. What a play, though. By, they're everywhere, it seems. Yeah, Russ made a nice play. Malik got it deep down for Malik Monk. All of a sudden, it's a three-point game with a minute and 45 left in the half. Back and forth we go. Tyus Jones is going to try to check in here before the end of the half. Then we're going to send it back to the studio. The drug of the box halftime report. Send it to El Segundo. And Darren has it again. He's not giving it up. He has just got it. Taking it upon himself. And what else? Another offensive rebound. But that's what will happen with dribble penetration where your last line has to go over and try to protect the rim. And then that man, in this case Adams, is free to get the offensive rebound. Lakers five for their last five. Monk has hit a couple of threes. Westbrook has nine in the quarter for the Lakers. Steven Adams. Free throw time. 63% on the year. Adams, another one of those big that has not tried a three this year. While we have a moment, here's a word from Morongo. New Year's Eve White Party. We're giving away 45 Samsung TVs on New Year's Eve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Oz mentioned that Russ has not.